Forward drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward drift. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is, of course, CBS News anchor Walter Cronkite reacting to the moment that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon back in 1969. A lot of people were saying that, who boy, and the iconic Eagle lander. Now, for the first time since the Apollo program, NASA is shopping for a new lander to go back to the moon. The space agency is expected to choose this month from among three designs for its Artemis program. Mark Strassman shows us the companies competing for their chance to now make history. After years of development Go for engine start. and countless tests of its rocket and crew capsule, NASA almost has all the hardware it needs to send astronauts back to the moon. The human landing system is the missing link. It's the last step to complete the puzzle for our return to the moon. Once you have this, it's all systems go. Lisa Watson Morgan leads NASA's first lunar lander program since Apollo. When I see this, it just it gives me goosebumps. The Apollo lunar module, built by Grumman, was actually two spacecraft in one. The bottom half, the descent stage, lowered the vehicle and its crew to a soft landing. Engine stop. Hey, Houston, the Charger has landed. And when it was time to go home, Houston. The ascent stage ferried the crew back to their orbiting capsule. We're definitely building off Apollo. We're saying, okay, we see what they did. Okay, we live in a different era. What makes sense for us today? What makes sense for NASA? And what will help us to have more of a sustained presence? Unlike Apollo, NASA won't own the Artemis landing system. Instead, it will buy a landing service picking from three dramatically different proposals. It's time to go back to the moon, this time to stay. Blue Origin, founded by Jeff Bezos, is leading a team of aerospace companies that came up with this design. The goal is to learn how to operate there permanently. Blue Origin's Brent Sherwood told us that's why its propulsion system is based on water, because ice at the moon's south pole could someday be converted into rocket fuel. Both hydrogen and oxygen are available on the moon in the form of ice in the polar regions. And our vision is based on developing those lunar resources in the future to make these systems reusable instead of bringing everything from Earth. Ignition. Elon Musk's SpaceX proposes a lander based on its Starship design. The company's now testing it in South Texas. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. Outside, an elevator-like system would lower astronauts to the surface. And then there's this approach by Dynetics, based in Huntsville, Alabama. Its horizontal, low-slung layout has the crew hatch just eight feet above the ground. It's one of the most notable aspects of our design. We like to say that when Neil Armstrong came off that ladder and said, That's one small step for man. One giant leap. He didn't actually want it to literally be a one giant leap. Dynetics executive Jonathan Pettis gave us a tour inside his company's mock-up. And what else about this would Neil and Buzz not recognize? Well, first of all, they wouldn't recognize this much space. It's uh, double the size of what they had. If you win, what would it mean to the company? Sure, it's great from a business perspective, but ultimately that ability to have a role in this sort of treasure of the nation, the space program, you know, you can't put a price tag on it. It's got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. The Apollo lander successfully delivered a dozen Americans to the moon. Now NASA has to choose which design will land America's next moonwalkers. How do you balance sticking with a formula that you know works as opposed to being open to new ways of doing things? Well, because if you've always done what you did, you're always going to get what you got. I mean, you know, we have to try new things. We definitely, I, I mean, it, it would be un-American <laughs> to not try something new, right? For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Huntsville, Alabama. Boy, all three oh, designs are so interesting. Very different. Yeah. I'm they excited. They got some great options. Yeah, they sure like do. Like what you said, if you always do what you did, yeah. just get the same. I, I wish like they could try them all. I, like, I, I hope they do. I like yeah. the one with double the space. Bigger yeah. than a lot of yeah, apartments too. in New York. Yeah. Me too. Very nice choices.